And here tonight, the massive natural gas pipeline explosion overnight, creating that fireball in Lincoln County of Central Kentucky. Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Prophet. Residents running from their homes, trying to escape the flames after being rousted by that blast. It happened just after one this morning in a rural Houstonville, Kentucky neighborhood, which is off Route 127. And this is what the area looked like before the blast. And take a look. Now only a crater is left with nearly 20 acres gone. And that's where we have full team coverage of the explosion tonight. First, we want to check in with our Lisa Hudson, who is live at the scene. Lisa. Well, Doug, we are here in Lincoln County. A property owner actually allowed us to set up here on his property, which backs up to the blast zone that you can see in behind me. There are railroad tracks right next door that were uh, shut down earlier today because of everything that was going on. They are running just fine now, but there are still plenty of helicopters, lots of activity still going on here. Now, we do want to let you know that we just heard from officials that if you are not affected by this blast, those 75 people that were evacuated earlier today are free to return back to their homes in order to get their personal belongings, but they need to be aware that they do not have any power and they probably don't have any water as well. Tyler Emery is also here in Lincoln County. She's been following the latest details. Tyler, what can you tell us? Lisa, as you had mentioned, there's still a lot of unknowns with this situation, but I want to give you guys the closest look of the scene that we have been able to get all day. I'm standing on the edge of this property that backs right up to this area. You can see that there is still smoke rising from the exact spot of where that pipeline ruptured around 120 this morning. So we are now about 17 hours from when this explosion happened. Investigators, as Lisa had mentioned, this scene is still very active. They're out here surveying the area. Even still, they've been out here for hours, at least since we have been able to be in this spot checking out this scene. We do know there were five homes, one standing here on this property that you're looking at all now completely burned to ash. Several other homes nearby also damaged with siding melted. We do know 58 year old Lisa Derringer was inside one of those homes. Police have confirmed she died on scene when first responders found her outside the home. Although we are told all other residents are accounted for, some do have minor injuries but are expected to be OK. Frankly, that is that is surprising. Um, the, the houses that, that are there uh, are completely destroyed. And as you can imagine, at, at one o'clock in the morning, most people uh, are inside asleep. Uh, and so this could have been much, much worse. As for this explosion, we do know a 30 inch pipeline ruptured, but what we still don't know is that exact cause of the rupture. Both the NTSB and ATF will be out here assisting local and state law enforcement as they try and determine the exact cause. Although the latest update from officials telling us that could take days or even weeks to determine the answer to.